Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 3 of this RMS Coronia tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's main deck, uh, the beginning of the ship's superstructure and the forecastle deck as well. So uh, that's the main focus for today, but we may get a bit more in uh, depending on the time we have. Anyway, the first thing we want to do is go inside the main hull of the ship. We've already built the hull in part 2. So what we're going to do now is go to the tip of the bow and along the green stripe at the top, the dark green stripe, we're going to add the deck. Now this deck goes from the tip of the bow at the front here all the way to the tip of the stern at the back. So got a lot of filling in to do, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, you're just going to add the deck all the way to the back end. So I just fill in the first few sections and then I use the fill tool because I'm lazy. So there we go, there's the first few sections done. And you're just going to add that all the way to the back end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand here on this line block and use the fill tool. So fill word by 300 and see how long it takes it shouldn't take too long um, but yeah it's going to take a little while may need a jump cut Ooh, there's the deck added so just get up and have a look make sure it's gone all the way to the end I had to do a jump cut there because it took about three minutes for it to fill in uh, and the deck is not quite gone to the end so I've got to go up there and uh, do the fill tool there as well so bear with me when I sort this out uh, I'll find somewhere to stand, so I shall stand roughly here and use the fill tool again. So forward slash fill 300. And there we go, that's the uh, deck added there. So there we are, that's the main deck added. And it's uh, basically added a roof, really. Anyway, that's that. So what we're going to do now, go back to the front of the ship. And as before, we've got to add signs to the uh, from the from the tip of the bow round to the outside edge. It's very similar, like like before, to part one and part two, where we built the hull up. Uh, so what we're going to do, I've, I've already added the signs anyway. So if you look around here, I've already added the signs from the centre, zero, and then one to twenty-three out to the side. But it's not going to be as extreme as building up the hull and the red section. It's just a few blocks up in height. So basically that white section over there where the crosshairs are you see the white section there, we're just building that section up basically it's only about four or five blocks high so you're not going to be uh, forever building so what we're going to do, we're going to go to section zero which is the center and remember everything that's built on the left is the same on the right so I'm going to focus on one section and then copy it over but uh, if you're building it on console then you're going to have to uh, do the whole lot so just get my notes together because it's all just fallen on the floor Right, so what we're going to do, go to center section zero, and we're going to build up two, and then three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two. Like that. And that's the uh, center section, like that. And then for section one, which is the next one along, we build forward two, and then up two, and then three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three. And there we go, that's that one there. Now into section two, we build up uh, two, and then uh, three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three, and then two. There we go. Now into section three. I'll just change my notes. Uh, section three, we want up two, and then up three, one, two, th two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like so. And then onto section four, we want up two, and then three, three, two again. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, like so. And onto section five, things change here, they're not quite as high. So section five onwards, we go up two, and then three, one, two, three, and then two. Like that. So it's two blocks lower than the rest. So I just double check that so it's up two, up three, up two. So the height should be one, two, three, four, five in height, so that's fine. Uh, section six we want to go up two, three, two again. So uh, two, one, two, three, and two. Like so section seven, the same again, so up two up three and then up two like so like that and then for section eight we change slightly so section eight to adjust my notes, notes again so section eight we want forward two and then two and then up two and then two and two that's not right is it all right <laughs> do this one again all right so number eight we want forward two two and then up two and then two. So two, two, up two, two. Yeah, that's right. Okie dokie. Disaster aversion. And for nine, 
uh, section now we want forward four rows of two so we go uh, one two three four and then one like that so it's four rows of two plus one and it's the same like that all the way to section 12 so we do section 10 which is the same two 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 one and number 11 is the same two 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 one and then section 12 four rows of two again so two 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 and one that's so and then for section 13 onwards we change again so section 13 we want four two and then three one two three and then two 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 and then one like that and then for section 14 it's the same so it's two three two so two one two three and then two two and one the same like that and then for section third section 15 we change slightly again so I adjust my notes section 15 we want forward three one two three three again one two three and then two like that so it's three three two and then up two one two like that so it's uh, straightening the edge off again All right now into section 16 we want the same again forward three three one two three one two three and then two and then up two there then onto section 17 we want forward four one two three four and then three one two three uh, and then two like that and then up two like so so we're getting a bit more uh, of a curvy angle as well as straighter as well now to section 18 uh, we want the same again four three two so one two three four one two three one two and then up two like so and on to 19 we want forward four three two again so one two three four one two three one two and then up two like so and on to section 20 change my notes again uh, section 20 we want four three two two so we go one two three four one two three and then two and two so it's forward all the way and then one on top like that so it's a slightly different uh, design again now under section 21 uh, 21 we want four one two three four and then two two so we go two and two and then up two and then one like so that's a slightly different design again and then on to 22 22 we want 3 2 2 so 1 2 3 and then 2 2 and then up 2 and 1 like so like that and then finally for section 23 uh, we want forward 4 1 2 3 4 and then 2 2 1 2 1 2 up 2 and then 1 like so and there we go that is the forward sort of beginnings of the superstructure and it should all look something like that at the moment anyway so what we're going to do now just pop to the inside and uh, fill in all the gaps so then you can do the same thing on the other side as well from 0 to 23 takes the same process uh, but I'll do that in a minute so I'm just going to fill in the gaps of course it's a smaller section so there's not going to be many gaps so or as big a gaps anyway so it's going to be a little bit simpler That's a theory anyway. So just fill in as many gaps as I can. Right, we were nearly halfway along, I think. A hell of a lot of lag going on here as well. I don't know if it's uh, my computer starting to. Uh, seizure itself or it's just recording stuff I don't know it's one of those many issues with daily life third world problems or first world problems if you want to call it that third world problems yes uh, what I've, I've, I've done up to there anyway that's most of the sections done so I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in the rest uh, but uh, as you can see it's starting to take shape and it should all look something like that so I'm going to do a jump cut and fill in the rest and then do the other side as well so I'm um, back in a moment okay back again I've filled in all the gaps and the uh, white section should look something like that uh, have a quick look on the inside as well you probably know what it looks like anyway so it should all look something all like that and uh, I should do the other side now so I just copy and paste it to the other side and uh, we should all be okay so we go 
copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And from the front, it should all look something like that. Minus the signs there, because the signs are going to be removed later on, but we'll leave them there for now. Uh, but yeah, that's that little jobby done. So, uh, yeah, everything's fantastic. So we're just going to move on to the next job now. What we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, behind section 23. So the white section here ends at 23. So you've got 23 there, and the last white section is there. So we'll go to the last block, which is that one there. And I just adjust my notes because I've written things down here, but I can't remember what I actually meant to do. So what we're going to do is, from that 23, uh, we're going to add a line along the side now of white, white blocks along the side, 164 blocks long, so basically to the end of the outside edge. So yeah, so it's all the way to the end of the section. So I'll well, add the first block, so that'll be one, and then just add 164 all the way along the side. That should be uh, 164 anyway. If you go, if you just go all the way to the end of the outside uh, of this edge, it should be 164, but it could be a bit shorter or longer, I don't know, but it should be 164. I'll add it freehand and then measure it when I get to the end. So, um, yeah, it should all be uh, 164 in theory. No guarantees of that one. Anyway, nothing's never, never ever perfect, is it? So, just build all the way along the side. And, oh, there we are, there's the end. And that is 164. Yeah, that's fine. It says at the end of the pink sentence, 164. So that's uh, worked out quite lucky. Right, so you've got the end of the 164 there. And then from there, you're going to add uh, 15. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. So that is the uh, white section there. So in these walls you just built there now, you're going to increase them to five high. So we'll start at the back here. We go two, three, four, five. So increase it to five high. And then boo that all the way back to the front end. So increase it all to five high, all the way, uh, all the way to the front end again. So I'm just going to use world edit for this. So it shouldn't take too long. And as before, as well, you do the same on the other side. So just copy, uh, build this all the way up to the front end, all the way up to that point there, and then fill in the gap there. And there we go. That's the side filled in. There will be windows added to this, as you can see on the prototype over there. We've got lots of black windows to fill in, but they'll be added later on because uh, they're not really that important at the moment. Uh, so there's the side done. We've got to do the same on the other side, but uh, I'll sort that out later on. But we're just, just going to go to the back end of what we've built here. And uh, what we're going to do is, along the bottom now, so we're just going to build a single line now along the bottom here, and it's going to be uh, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, like so. So yeah, there we are. So that's uh, that section there, and then the final ten blocks. Uh, I'm just gonna have to double check this on the prototype just to make sure I do this right. So it should be the final 10 blocks of the rows we just built. So we'll just go to the end here. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, the last 10 blocks, you're going to increase them to 5 high. So I'm just going to add those blocks in first. Just to mark out which ones it is. So we'll go for the back end here. We'll just add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus another one. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus another one. Because, of course, they double up because they overlap each other. So the final 10, then we increase that to 5 high, so 3, 4, 5, and then the same for the last 10, or for the rest of the last 10 anyway. Like so, so there we are, that's that section there, and it should look something like that. So you've got a gap now between the front half and the back section there. And in this section here, we're going to add pillars, because it's an open promenade, this area. And what we're going to do is add 10 pillars uh, with a two block gap between each other. So we'll go to the front of the gap 
and we'll leave a two block gap and add a pillar two blocks high and then a two block gap at another pillar two block gap another pillar so that's one two three pillars and then pillar number four pillar number five pillar number six pillar number seven pillar number eight pillar number nine and pillar number ten like so, so that's ten pillars like that and then across the top of those pillars you're just going to add a line of blocks so trace the uh, contours of the ship below so add a line across the top of the pillars remember following the line of the ship below so you're following the, the contours of the ship's hull so wherever the ship curves in you add the line curving in like so and there's the pillars covered up and it should look something like that and then add another line of blocks across the top as well just to add uh, double that up in height basically just brings it up to the height of the rest of the white wall and there we go that is how it should look so you get your pillars added there and in the corners as well you can add your block in the corner there of the first, first, uh, first window and a block in the back window as well to add this sort of to create the curve of the promenade and uh, it should look something like that. It doesn't look much at the moment because it's, it's you know, there's, there's no detail behind it so you can see it, but you know, it's there nonetheless. Um, and yeah, so that's that bit there. So bear with me a second while I read my notes and work out what to do next. Right, so what we're going to do now, before I, I do the other side, we're going to add <coughs> some inside walls. So we're going to go to the back end of the white section now, so right at the back here, and we're going to go to the bottom and build in one, like so and then increase that to five high like that and then let's try and work out what to do here um, and then what we're going to do is the second block down so we go uh, the five high section here the second block down which is this one so we're going to build in two so build in two like that I think um, build in two then five in I'm trying to work out how to do this there's two now I'm going to go to the prototype this is because I fucked up already apologies for swearing there you may need a bleep for that um, so I'm going to pop over here, and what we're going to do is look at that section. So it's oh, I see. So we added that section there, and then I needed to add another one. So it's basically two back rather than two in. So right, okay, I screwed up. I apologise, but we're going to do this properly now. So let me build it. I can't remember actually how to do it. So it's built in two, like that, wasn't it? And then five one. Two, three, four, five. Just oh, fudge. Okay, jump cut there because I screwed it up again. Uh, back to where we were. So we've got, we've got this wall here. So we go to the second one down from this section and build two out like that, and then five in. One, two, three, four, five. So like that, uh, and then down three. One, one, two, three. Down like that. So it should have an archway like that in theory. And then on the inside of that pillar there, we're going to add the inside walls. Um, to the inside walls, we build forward uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then five, one, uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then nine, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then out five, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. There we go. And it should look something like that. So you get the inside walls, it's basically a short corridor along the uh, promenade area there. And then these inside walls, you're going to increase them to four high because the deck will sit on top of these walls. So increase them to four high. And everything should be fine in theory. I know I've screwed things up along the way. So I just use welded it again to set these walls up. It's really helpful if I put the axe closer to the white, wouldn't it? I want to keep going backwards and forwards through the menus. Do, 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 do. And I'll do the last section freehand. 
that's there, and there we go, that's that section filled in there. And then the top row, uh, just to work out, we just add a line, uh, add a block there, sorry, and then we build inwards, just to work out how to do this one. So the top block, uh, build in four, no, the bottom block. So if we go back to the bottom block here, we build it in four. One, two, three, four. And then four again. One, two, three, four. And then a centre block. Which we'll add a red block for the centre. And so, so that's from the uh, inner walls. So we add four and four, then a centre block. So I'm just going to make sure this is lined up with the centre, and it's not. So we'll, we'll decrease that. So, so the, we'll add the four there, and then we'll reduce this one to three, and then add the, the centre block. So it's just a slight miscalculation. And yet that is lined up with the centre, so that's fine. So yeah, so at the bottom here, add four and then three, plus a centre block. So it's really four, four, but the centre one at the end, it add as red or whatever for the centre. <coughs> and then uh, what we do uh, for the top again, so we go back to the uh, beginnings here, it's back where the uh, problem all began. So we'll start from this block here, and we're going to build in on top of the row below, we're going to build in uh, two, so we put the two already, and then we add five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, no, four, sorry, build in four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then a centre block, like so. So apologies if this is confusing, so I'll re recap again. So from the problem where it all began, we built four, and then five, five, plus the one centre block there like that. And then the wall underneath, between the top and the bottom, the wall down here we increase to four high. And the same down below, or down on the centre bit here. And there we go, we've got a wall like that, and it's got an overhang above it like that. So that's, what that, that's why it's all confusing, because uh, the top section was slightly different to the lower section. So that's, that's what threw me a bit, so apologies for all of that. Uh, so that is that section done there, and you just need to copy that to the other side. Do the same thing, hopefully without screwing it up like I did. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick copy-paste to the other side to get that out of the way, and then we can move on to something else. Uh, we're going to add the deck as well, so I'm going to go over here, and copy to, or copy from this corner here, and copy down that end as well. Flip it, paste it, done. Or copy, flip it, paste it, done. And then we can move on to something else. Uh, so we go down to centre here, copy to roughly that point, and then we'll sit here and we do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. So it doesn't, doesn't look much at the moment, but you know, it's uh, it's there anyway. So that is the uh, inside there. So from the back end, if we go from the tip of the stern, it should look something like that. So you've got an archway at both sides. I'll see the centre block in the middle, and you've got the inner walls, and they don't look too bad, do it? So now what we need to do is add the deck. Uh, so if we go from the centre wall or the centre point back here, and the deck will sit in this groove right along here, and it's going to go all the way to the front end of the white section. So it's more filling, I'm afraid, but you know it's got to be done. And uh, we'll just fill in the uh, the first few portions of the deck, and then I'll uh, use the fill tool again. And uh, like I say, when you're doing this on console or doing this on your own, it's going to drive you up the wall. So, although this is a more modestly sized ship compared to the other ones, but anyway, it's still a, still a large vessel anyway. So that's the first few portions done. So you just fill in the rest of the hull or the rest of the deck all the way to the forward, all the way to the front. So I use the fill wood tool again by 300, and uh, it should all be okay in theory. So as you can see there, the deck is sitting on top of these inside walls, and oh, there we go. There's a deck added, and we'll just go inside again, you can see the deck sits on top of these inside walls, so that is all fine there. And also the, the promenade is also more prominent, now you can see actually see the uh, promenade windows. Anyway, that's that, so I'm just going to fly to the front end and make sure the deck is all filled in. And then we can move on. So what's going on up here? So we've got a gap still, so I just need to use the fill tool again. So I shall stand there on this block and fill in again. And then the deck should be filled in it. There we go. Right, so there we are. There's the deck added. So we've got to the first portions of the superstructure done. 
very small part of it, but it's done. Uh, so that's that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to do a jump cut and do some measuring, and then we can move on to the next job. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck of the ship superstructure. So what we're going to do is move on to the outside edge of the ship's main hull. Uh, so we're on to basically section 23, if you remember, so you've got the 23 sign underneath and section 23 here. So section 23, 22 and 21, we're going to add some extra height to it. So we'll start at 23 and on 23 we're going to build up uh, 3, 1, 2, 3 and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's adding 3, 4 to that. Uh, and then the same with number 22, so we go up 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And the same with number 21. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, like so. And that is those sections done there like that. And then what we're going to do is go to the front end of the ship. We're going to go to the first block of the wood. Uh, and we're going to count back. So, uh, so that's the first block there. And then you're going to count back to the 64th block. So that's the first block there. And on the 64th block, we're going to build. So we're going to count all the way back. And I've already put a marker there, so the 64. So it's basically a 63 block gap on the wood, and then you build on the 64th, as it says in the in the pink senders at the bottom. It says 64. So I build on the 64th, and we're going to build a wall 11 wide. So that's the centre block there. So I change that to red to mark it as the centre, and then we build it 11 wide. So it's uh, five either side. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So that's 11 wide there. And then for the side rounds, you're going to build five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, and then two again, and then you need to build eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along the side like that, and that should join up uh, with the rest of the sections there. So how high is this now? So we've added one, two, three, four, five, six in height. So didn't really need to build it that high, but you know it's it's there nonetheless. Uh, so we can, what we can do is remove the top blocks for now. This is only a temporary thing, so we just remove the top one. So uh, correction to what we've done: we just build up three and three rather than three and four. So I just remove the top blocks because it's not needed at the moment. And then what we're going to do? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side over here. We're going to do. Uh, I'm going to add the 23, 22, and 21 sections. So it's build up three and three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, rather than four. And then one, two, three, one, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Like so. so that's those sections up like that. And then we'll do the same thing with the curved wall. So we add five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then two and two, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And that is the front wall of our deck there, or the front wall of the superstructure. And then this front wall curving around the sides, increase that to five high. Don't worry about the sections, uh, these pointy sections, just the sections going along the side and then around the front. Increase that all to five high, uh, all the way around. So I use World Edit for a portion of it. And then a bit of freehand as well. So I'll do the same across the front. Like so, and then what I'm going to do, I'll do a copy paste to the other side just to save a bit of time. So I'll copy from there to the centre down here. And we we'll just use the usual copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides uh, done like that. So that's the front wall all increased there and uh, we'll worry about these gaps in a minute but you can fill them in now if you want it's basically just fill in like with the uh, the red uh, the, the the previous sections below so we just add the walls in the side here to, to fill in the gaps between the pillars and the front wall so I do the first I might as well do one side at least so that's the first one filled in and then the next one
and that's it I think so that is those sections filled in and as before like I said there will be windows to add to these sections but not just yet so anyway that is that section done there and then from the back end of that 23rd section so we've got the 23 again so like the section here before uh, we're going to add I think it's 28 so I'm just going to go over to the uh, prototype so bear with me on this one um, do, 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 do. So get rid of that green block that's not needed so it's one two then that is 20 so that's 28 blocks we just need to add a line of 28 uh, so what we do we go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's a line of 28 like that. And then in the creative section, we're going to add 28 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, just add a line of 28 and then increase it to 5 high like so and then uh, what we're going to do now is add a line of blocks uh, from behind here, add a line of blocks all the way along uh, just trying to think now, so we'll go all the way along the edge, along all the way along the outside edge here along this uh, long line here, so I don't know the exact number but anyway just, just build it till you get to the end of this outside line or this straight line here, so just build all the way to the end of that and then we can uh, add the next section. So I'll just do this freehand. Without missing any, preferably. Wow, it nearly at the end. So up to the end there, like that. So that's that section there. And then uh, what we're going to do is add 15. So we're going to add 15 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then uh, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, better make it 8, hang on, what was the previous one? So that was that was nine, yeah. So this one was eight, and then add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and then seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Apologies there. So it was so it went ten, nine, eight, seven, seven. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's no problem there. Uh, and then the last five blocks of this section here. So this last row of seven, the last five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, increase to five high. So two, three. Four and five, like so. So, the, like I said, the last five blocks increase to five high, and then the, the section in here will be filled with windows and things. But we'll worry about that in a minute. So we're going to go to the front end again. So go go back to the front uh, section, which was 20, 28 long and five high. So, which is this section here. We're going to add some windows now. Uh, so what we're going to do is use. Uh, I'm going to use proper glass for this one because the glass I used previously looks shite. So. I use proper glass for this, so I'm going to add some windows and we're going to add five windows which are two blocks high, so we'll go one window and then a gap, two and then three and then four and then five, so you've got five windows like that um, and then a three block gap, so we'll add a th at the end of the last, after the fifth window we had a three a three block spacer like that and then fill in the gaps between, <coughs> pardon me, so you get the two pillars in between and then what we're going to do is add uh, two windows like uh, like so, so two windows like that, and then a three spacer afterwards, and then another two windows, and then another three space afterwards, and then again two windows like so. So that's three pairs like that, and uh, that's that. So we've got a pair of windows, pair of windows, pair of windows. But you don't add the spacer after the final one. So after, so once you built that, you fill in the, the pillars in between. Like so, so you got the windows like that. You got five windows, and a pair, a pair, and a pair. So you have three pairs, like so. And then you leave the windows for now, and we go back to the back end of the ship, and then we add some more windows. And these windows are in a group of 
18. So it's, an eight, it's 18 windows. So this, this, this wall here now, which is five long, five high, in front of that, so going between the windows up there in this wall, we're going to add 18 windows. So we go one window, two windows, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So you've got eighteen windows like so. And then you use the white blocks again to fill in the pillars in between. So just use the uh, fill in the pillars in between the windows. Like so, so there's the windows added there. Um, and then uh, between these windows and the windows up there, you just add a wall. Um, but before we do that, above the windows here, you can you now add a line of blocks along the top of the window. So we do these back windows first. So we add a line of blocks across the top of all the windows. Remembering to follow the contours of the ship. So you've got a line of blocks across there, and then double that in height. So you've got two, a line too high, a line, well, a line of blocks too high above the windows. Like so. Oh, hang on. And there we go, there's those windows there. So you've got the windows now covered up. Like so. And then you do the same with the windows at the front end as well. So we'll add our line of blocks across the top. So add a line two blocks high across the top of all the windows. And it should be to the same height as the front wall as well. So that's five high in total. So add those blocks along here. So, so that's now too high above the windows and then between front windows and back windows you just add a wall all the way along the side five high so put it to uh, five high and I use world edit to build the wall it's basically a five block high or well, increase it to five high rather because it's uh, already got one block there in its place so increase it by another four blocks to five high and then just build the wall along the side like so and then we'll do the same for all the sections afterwards. And do that. And there we go, that's that side all filled in. And it should look something like that. It does look very bare because there are no windows or no portholes, but it will look better once those windows are added. Um, but that is that section all filled in along the side. And it should look something like that, in theory, anyway. So I should do the same on the other side. I'll do the usual uh, copy paste. So I've got to do a bit of uh, filling here. So I've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out, and then copy from that point, and then get rid of those blocks. And I'll copy, flip it to the other side, and paste it, and then uh, we can move on to the next job, which is basically sort of building the back wall. Now, when I built this ship, I didn't add any inside walls to this deck, so I'm not going to bother adding them uh, as of now, so I'll leave them bare, but we'll uh, do the copy-paste anyway. So we'll do copy, flip to the right, and then we'll paste. And there we go, that's both sides filled in. And now we've got uh, a good chunk of the superstructure done, so it doesn't look too bad. Do so I'm just going to fly down to the back end now, we've got to add another wall across the back. And uh, just trying to think how I do this. So I'm going to go to the left hand side, which I normally do, and uh, have a read of my notes. So bear with me a second. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go along the top line here, and what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, build in two. So top line at the back end here, build in two, like so. And then uh, three, one, two, three, so we're curving slightly. And then four, one, two, three, four. Like so, and then down four, so one, two, three, four, to create a pillar like that. And then from this bottom block here, we build back one, like so. And then we add, uh, uh, we add five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then five again, one, two, three, four, five, I think. So I'm just gonna make sure that lines up. Yep, that lines up with our center block. So it's it's basically four, really. So four and then a center block, so apologies there. So. It's building five, 
and then four. But if you want to, you can make this one four, and then make it five. That probably makes sense. So we'll do the same the other side, so it make a bit more sense. So from the top block here, uh, we'll build in two, uh, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then down four, one, one, two, three, four, and then add a block at the bottom there. And then we build in four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five. And there we go, that lines up better. So all right, that's uh, the that, uh, back job done there. So there we are, that's all lined up there. And then this back wall here, we now increase that to five high, so it should all look nice and neat when it's done. That's a theory anyway. And then uh, after that we can add the deck. So that's that back wall and then this last section here. And there we go, that is that section there. So like I said, I didn't add any inside walls. So this wall here is going to be pretty bare, so there's no inside walls. But you can add some if you want to. I may come back later on and actually build some inside walls. I'll give it a bit more um, structure, but uh, at the moment it's just going to stay as is. Uh, but that is that section of the superstructure done and all we need to do now is add the deck so we'll get our wood blocks again and we'll go from the back wall here and the, the deck will sit in the top or along the top line of white blocks and then it should go all the way forward so all the way to the front curved wall of this section of the superstructure So that's the first few blocks. So all you need to do now is just build that wall or build the deck all the way to the front. So I'm going to stand uh, on that block there and use the fill tool. So we go fill wood by 300 and it should go all the way to the front end in theory. Do 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 do. -do. Oh, there we go. There's the deck added. That was quick. And uh, yeah, so the deck is added at the back. So we'll just fly to the front end and make sure it's all lined up at that end. And yeah, I think that's all fine. So I just look at the cross of the prototype, and it does look okay, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, we've got quite a bit done here. So we've got two decks of the superstructure done, although there are still a couple more to go on. So we've got the boat deck to go on, uh, as well as the this superstructure for this deck, so the boat deck will go on top of that, and then another deck on top of that, and then another deck which will, which will house the bridge wings, then the bridge wheelhouse as well. So there's still plenty to do, but getting the main structure out of the way, and uh, I will come back and add those windows later on as well. So uh, the windows are, are fairly simple to put on the side, I mean, they're, they're, they're evenly spaced as you can see on the prototype. There's groups of six, and there's spaces between them, but we'll come back and sort them out another day. So um, yeah, that'd be for then. So anyway, this is this is it for part three. So for part four, like I said, it'll be the next couple of decks of the superstructure. Anyway, that's it for today. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return in part four. So uh, bye for now.